Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2 and the conclusion of this replay. Calgo Mu also getting a single siege tank as well. Both armies pretty even in terms of size. 2700 versus 2750 and just a little bit difference in gas. So what one player loses in Marauders makes up for in Marines. 86 to 81. Currently looking at the production. Calgo Mu getting that infantry upgrade while um, getting double refineries, reactors. Just go ahead and take a look at this as it's just too much to describe to really, fig really figure out. We have, in fact, an SCV is now doing some scouting. A Marine coming across a single SCV. SCV holding those yellow minerals, perhaps trying to offer a peace offering towards... No, not going to be giving a peace offering towards Natagas as those Marines now... As that the Viking now moving off to that north-hand side, making sure that there is no economic advantage anywhere. Two siege tanks. Marines Marines with combat shields um, against Marines with no combat shields, no stim. And there are in fact a couple of siege tanks as well. The destructible rock still in position down here. SCV now doing more scouting, trying to figure out what exactly the strategy is of Natagas. Both players sitting on probably uh, yeah 90, uh, almost 100 food army at this point. And now we have this single SCV building another command center over here. Large Marine and Marauder army now moving off to that north hand side. And splitting up his army a little bit, a little bit dangerous of a maneuver by Calgo Mu. And if he does in fact run into that, that's going to be a really, really bad play. Viking now up in the air, scouts out this command center. And now a medevac is sitting there, a single marine using that one... And now, oh, Siege Tanks. If those Siege Tanks siege, that's going to be very, very good positioning right here. And this is going to be a really, really bad fight for Natagas. Natagas really out of position right here. And as those Siege Tanks are able to blast back, Siege Tanks are within range. There is continual scans, and that poor, poor Siege Tank um, getting uh, attacked 2 to 1. And more Siege Tanks now on that lower ground, slowly inching their way forward. And those units are just out of range. Taking a look at this, there is some SCVs nearby. That SCV going to perhaps try to start repairing some of these lower hit point siege tanks as that Viking and this army of Natagast has pretty much uh, taken a severe hit. Now trying to shoot down more of these siege tanks. Natagast now coming over here from this backside, trying to take down this command center. Going to be able to take this down without any issue, but a couple of those siege tanks and those marauders and those marines going to quickly come into play. Vikings trying to shoot back and shoot down those that medevac. One medevac taken down, another medevac taken down, but that's going to be GG as Natagas's army down to 72 compared to Calgo Moose 116, unable to take down this command center. The command center may be upgraded to a planetary fortress as there's already two orbital commands. And not producing any additional, excuse me, not producing any additional SCVs at this location. Taking a look at over here, these the main mineral location still pretty much pretty well mined out. Siege tanks not sieged as these units are once again pushing out. And yeah, these uh, marines with stim and combat shield just able to and roll over Natagas's army. All of these SCVs going to get taken out in transition as they try to walk back up that ramp. Marauders trying to hold this point, and Natagas is going to have to concede this game with a really, really strong offensive push from Calgo Mu. Natagas says GG, and that is going to be the end of the game. So thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more replays, and I hope you guys continue to watch me even after the StarCraft 2 beta ends. I will be trying to cast more high-level games, giving you my thoughts and my strategies as well. Thanks for watching, and thanks for listening.